What's up, Squip and Brigade? On this episode, we have my boy Michael Brooks. We talk about feminism, whether women are horny as men, transgender people, life, dignity, uh, credibility, all that good all shit. That good uh, this was a great one, man. Uh, one for the books. 300 episode. Um, yeah, 300. You were appreciate in the... y'all for listening, yeah. man. I know you were in the sleeveless tuxedo. I appreciate that. <laughs> I know uh, that was a hard one to get. Yeah, it happens. Celebrate 300. 300. But also, we're still trying to get to do things like get to 1,000 likes on Facebook. We get to that. We do a fr- we're going to do a bonus show on Facebook and stuff like that. So. This was a goodie, man. Let's get into it. Revolution. Revolution is big. It's podcast. Podcasted. You are now tuned in to Beige Philip. Let's go! Relationships and sex is the only two things that a guy is supposed to be good at when he has no practice. And then you're told not to be womanizer, to, to get the practice that you need to be good at. Genius. True wisdom is the understanding of underlying concepts, how they relate to situations that seem irrelevant, but really are not. Superb. As a man, you have to be strong enough to protect yourself from her emotions. You have to be strong enough to protect your relationship from her emotions. And that means to look at everything and be and, and assess it in terms of what what's real and what's not real and what's just her emotional state at the time. Perfect. If you want to know how to hunt a deer, you ask the hunter. You don't ask the deer. The deer is being the deer. He doesn't know anything else but how to be, which is being her. As the hunter, I need to study her patterns and her behaviors so that I can put this bullet in her. And by the bullet, I mean this dick. You know the rest. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's going down? This is a special show. GYBB, get your balls back. B-A-B-B, be a better bitch. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Nice, finally. It's about to go down. 300 times we've done 300 this. times we've done this show. And not one bad. Not one not bad. Not one bad. No, all of them awesome. Mm, Here's the thing. This is the 300 yeah. show, um, and it's a special. We got a special guest. Now, I know I've said that. 299 times before. <laughs> yeah. But that's how I mean it. Word. <laughs> I'm real excited. For real. Though. For real. First of all, Harry, real, how you how you I'm feeling? I'm doing great. You okay, good? You know that. Damn We've it. Some been people, together. 300 times. 300 shows we've done, shows I think I've only done this. One show. Well, one show. Andre's missed a lot. 150. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Give it up for the world's uh, worst intern in the fucking planet. Uh, 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 Andre it's D. Hard work. Thompson, you feeling good? It's hard work, baby. You ready to rock and roll? <laughs> I don't all even day. think you know who you we got in the building day. today. <laughs> you don't even know who we got in the building. Because I'm a fan. I can tell. It's crazy. You know Fucking I get excited. excited. I haven't been this si- excited since Christopher Ryan for Sex at Dawn was That's in true. the building. Yeah. You had him here? Yeah, yeah. That's our, he's our dog. I was just with him last week. Oh, uh, he's he's really he was. Yeah, well, I recorded a pod with him in L.A. on his show. Oh, uh, he's so dope. He's dope. He's got that movie coming out too. Wait, let me oh, introduce God. you. Mm. This dude, uh, he's doing. Uh, if I believed in God, he'd be doing God's work. Right. <laughs> but I'm an atheist, so yeah. <laughs> so he's doing he's doing dog's work. He's doing yeah. Well, he's doing. He's just doing the right thing. He's just being righteous. Mm. <laughs> being righteous every day. Walking the path of the righteous. <laughs> <laughs> you know him from uh, the Sam Cedar show, Minority Report. You know him from his show, the Michael Brooks show, political proponent and and uh, I guess political warrior. That's right. Shutting it down. Give it up for Michael Brooks, y'all. Give it up for Michael Brooks. Yes. Ooh, Good to have you here, brother. Honor, honor, honor. Uh, you have no fucking idea. I've been watching your show and following and I, I just... Man, I'm if I, let me turn the music off because I, I, I'm, I'm about to get uh, sentimental here. No, I <laughs> oh, yeah. can't have it. You can't get sentimental with that shit. So in the let me tell you what the fuck uh. happened, Harry. Uh-huh. So I'm sitting home. I don't really fuck with Facebook because that's where fucking trolls get spawned. That's true. Right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. And I get a fucking message. Yo, the fuck is up? I'm like, I'm like, Michael. Michael, why the fuck is Michael Brooks talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> All the octaves in his voice. What about him? So I hit him back. He's like, yo, I want you to do my podcast. What I'm, I'm gonna do. I was like, fucking definitely. I was like, but yo, what are you doing Friday? Come by here. 
I got my Nobody. third hundred, my three hundred show. Come do it. Come on. He's done. like done. Done. I'm like Let's bank it. You are fucking kidding me. Bank it. Put it in the bank. Put it in the bank. Brooklyn Steezo. You know what I'm saying? I feel like playing MOP again. It's a again. Bitcoin that won't depreciate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's consistent. In yeah. the building, and he's here. He's yeah. here. Now, if you don't know who fucking Michael Brooks is, it, like, dude, this dude is fighting the good fight, the racism and fucking just classism and yes. all the fucking isms and just doing it, which is like, yo, you, you don't got to do that. That's true. I don't. You could just matter, go to matter work. Of fact, yeah, that's right. You could just... You could get a you could get a fucking job and just not. Nah. Yeah, but you know you know what you know what's what's weird about this is funny because you mentioned the uh, first of all let me just say it's majority report and I gotta correct that I'm sorry. because right right Major- because Sam will have a conniption if he hears this. and I'm yep. a big but fan of Sam I would really not Sam Cedar yeah, yeah majority yeah, yeah. report it's a monster yeah fucking monster dude. yes. Just yes. these dudes is like you don't understand like we're kind of we're there's like a there's there was there's a zone of us kind of on the left emerging that like yeah we're kind of the heavy hitters really yeah, like uh, you know like and and totally counter to the to the bullshit. brand that a bunch of nonsense garbage people try to make about a the lack left. of truth a lack of truth lies between, deception between nonsense cedar alternate the report bullshit the, and the young turks that's the new this new people i was actually there in chapo trap houses in that and a bunch of other show and you know jacobin whatever i was actually out i was out in la last week uh-huh. and um and i did the young turks and i did chris ryan's show and um you said you know about me not having to do this but what was interesting was that we talked about because, you know, he really pulls people out in his show. So yeah, yeah. we talked about my whole life and right, right, right. everything. So, you know, I mean, I won't get that much into it, but I have a pretty a non-typical background, basically. And what, But what I noticed was that, you know, in, in, my, in, in my 20s, like, you know, 7, 8, 10 years ago, when I was first getting out of college, I was trying to – I did a bunch of different things. Right. But I was trying to work – for a little while in brand strategy and advertising, right? Okay. And I did a little bit of that. Right, right. And I and I and and the thing that I told Chris was that there was a project that I got pulled in on that actually would have been like you know, I was I was getting checks and things were kind of moving along and this was kind of like the thing that it it was either going to be like if I went down that road I might be like, you know, very high in that world now. Right, right. Or I needed to get out. Right. And right. it ended up being I needed to get out and it wasn't hmm. like a big like it, it just didn't like it was a project for something i realized that i could i can do whatever mm-hmm. for things i believe in sure i have no problem right. throwing a lot of shots i have no problem with that but right. to use and taking my, the shots and when taking go, yeah. absolutely but taking uh i prefer throwing though yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but no 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 okay. no but but i i couldn't use my brain power my talent my energy for something that i thought was fundamentally wrong but you didn't believe it yeah i just couldn't do it and it wasn't like a big like i thought about it i was just like my stomach just didn't feel right yeah Yeah. so you know and now at this point in the career that i've that i've chosen and end up on like actually now it's like you know it's fun i'm paying some bills like things are like it's It's coming it's it's, falling into place it's happening now but the thing was that was interesting that i was like that every time i was doing something that on paper looked more responsible it was it less success feel. it didn't feel right and yeah. it was ironically less successful in my case because your like, heart wasn't in it the risky shit that i've done has paid off a lot more than trying to follow a script which now, is interesting now his his was crazy like yeah. watching you years of watching and, and this is i want to say this, this is the first time we met yes i'll give you a hug later because please I, and uh and you can give you some of this warm shit that you're going to have to handle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but what it is is, so uh, the, when I said you didn't have to do this, I, I kind of felt a little tingle in my nuts when I said it because you did have to do it. And I don't mean you could have made these other choices, but j- like me, I do what I, I I do. I make my choice to do what I do, but I couldn't do anything else. Like I, it just my, I just can't. So if I see a dude and some chick has got him broken and he's fucking like, oh, I don't know why you and she's treating him <laughs> like he's a cuck, like not like a cuck when mediocre white dudes who are racist call use the mm-hmm. word cuck when you really are the cuck. Um, 
<laughs> we talk- you mean like a simp? <laughs> yeah, yeah, co- okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. So it, it, yeah. Yeah, dude is just that really- word I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just hit a nerve when you see, his, see the joy in, in Andre's face. <laughs> simp. <laughs> that I like that word. So it, it, you just I, and I'm and I'm like and a dude would tell me yeah yeah but I love my. I love my girl. Mm. What you love about her? She had goggling balls. <laughs> well, I can see. I can see the part of my audience that I'm gonna have to run interference on in this fucking appearance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, here's. But you know what? Here's. Do you here's what I'm gonna leave with all of my feminist cred intact. Yeah, you, uh, yeah. and I want you to. No, because, I know you know how long you know, I've had to defend Dante and is, have to translate. <laughs> and but if you well, see, I am. If, I'm a translator. But if you see how you yeah. how I rock. Yes. It's look, and there's things that I say controversial. But if you want to, if they want to talk about it, let's talk about it. Right. Let's 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 really talk about it. Let's have a discussion because you yelling at me right. about what you think is the case is not a discussion. Right. And I'm not saying I know anything. I'm imperfect. Human beings are imperfect. In order to be a human being, you have to you have to give forgiveness and you have to ask for forgiveness those are two things that need to happen oh, and like so that. when we have these conversations even when it's in and i'm a comic too so a little edgy here and there but here's the thing i, I grew up i got three sisters they're all bitches but i still <laughs> they but I, I mean but they're bitches not because they're women they're bitches because they're bitches and i've cracked heads for every one of them for somebody disrespecting them and stuff yeah of course I, and and the reality of it is that we are not even having the conversation about what is appropriate right. and what's not appropriate. And so how do we not have the conversation? And I don't mean you talking at me. Yeah. It's me listening and go, well, tell me. I don't know well, this. You talk about empathy a lot, which I like. Yeah, well, yeah. That's I, the, I buy that. That is I the key yeah, to yeah. it. So this, this, it's protecting your manhood. or to, When I say your manhood, I mean keeping your word, being credible. And having the empathy, empathy to understand that everybody doesn't have your same experience, and because they don't have your, they don't always see your plight. And if somebody's willing to see your plight, that is all that matters, dog. Then we we can get anywhere from there, you know. So I get how sometimes, and we've had we've had uh, we've had what you call like feminists, like stark feminists, and even in the context of being feminist, they would say something like uh, we had a chick and she was she was like she was like um well you know there's a proper way to choke a feminist and then she goes cut 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 can we edit that out and i'm like so here's you're this powerful woman who can't even say like you're a powerful woman who can't even say what you like well, that's what she and wants th- yeah right yeah and why yeah. isn't yeah. that the feminism that she can make the decision because she is a woman, we she should have to be able to make the decision. And she about didn't what even she, feel comfortable saying like, because there's a way of going about that that's right, and, right, in response to my desires and because your desire. The people that are going to be yelling at her oh, about right. the context right. in this box that they want to put her, which is not feminism, because right. the overall battle gets affected. People I mean, you know, feel like, like you know what it is yeah. to me. There's like kind of three different lanes that I think about with it. So one is I actually make the decision. There's plenty of people out in this field that I don't consider. And I don't mean, I mean, like, just generally media overall. Right, right. That really are kind of like, I mean, I don't even mean, like, necessarily personally, but from the perspective of doing this work, they're my enemy. Right. And I don't really care to fuck with them. Right. Other than to fuck with them. (laughs) Because I don't respect what they do. I don't respect what they forward. And there are a lot of people who are, you know, they're, they're just, they're basically playing off resentment. And their stands and their their actually cucks in fact for big, right, right. big business basically, right. and my job is you know I have a certain kind of a politics and I have a certain kind of belief that I'm really clear about and I want to um you know to 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 win basically right right and and so there's a whole set of people that I consider to be kind of like. They should be debunked. They should be discredited because right. that you know that's what they're doing. Then I think there's another lane where. That's some people on my side, and I don't think just my side. I just think actually everybody right now, because yeah. it's a very ghettoized environment, like right. in a literal sense of that word. Yeah, yeah. Like people are just finding their lanes, and mm. I think that, you know, I don't. I love the idea. Like, why wouldn't I want to be an ambassador for where I'm coming from right. to people that 
you know, are good people. And right. we could disagree and whatever. But, but we're still good people. But yeah, exactly. Right. So there's a foundation and there's a baseline there. And then we can come out and then, and then people get a different sense of, the, of, of, of my brand and what I represent. And they go like, oh, we heard all this stuff. Like, you know, he's, he's socialist and, you know, and, and supports women's rights and all this stuff. And we have in mind, like, that's somebody on Twitter who doesn't like jokes or whatever right. the fuck right. and then they see me and hopefully it's like no that's actually someone who just really cares about right. you know justice people, who's, who's, truth. you know who cares about people cares about truth is you know who's also you know has got some you know is 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 relatable yeah. you know to to the different kind of lanes of people and then you know I think I think that that actually I don't that kind of collapses my my second and my and, and you'll yeah that number 3 that you can't for people that are potentially inside the circle, it is that empathy thing. Right. And a lot of things get confused in the conversations. Like, yeah. even when you could say, like, I could say, you know, the people that I don't want to deal with are the people where their diagnosis of how things work is fucked and wrong and they have no empathy. Right. There's even people that I could say, I think the reason that you're explaining your plight is delusional right you're totally misdiagnosing sure, it sure but i hear you right you are in some plight right things are bad right and i don't want that for you right i don't want that for anybody really right but if but, you you uh, well yeah, this yeah, is yeah. an interesting thing too yeah. right? and i say this over and over again yeah. in order to get to the destination of truth you have to first like if we call a, i say this all the time if you call an uber like we're in the back of my house right. my studio's in the back of the house and this is if, a cool setup by thanks the way. man yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah i um if i go i want i want an uber right and i and it says current location it because i'm in the back of the house it reads the next block over right right, right. so I'm not, I don't know, I'm giving this, the, 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 the Uber guy, the wrong current location. Right. And so I never see the Uber that's on the next block because it's on the next block. Yeah. Because, so if I'm not aware of where I'm at, I can't figure out how to navigate to the destination that I'm going. And so what you're talking about is this, this ultimate misrepresentation of where I'm not looking inside and seeing where I'm really at diagnosing whatever that plight is yeah. in the in the context of that where it really is not what your emotions not what a, what the facts are then we can navigate to the destination where we but it, it has but to start part, with that part of it is right. also being willing to you got to set up a mind frame of what is bullshit but what people think is bullshit sometimes is fucked up like sure. there's a lot of people on the on the far right who think everything is bullshit. No good. But you got to be willing to listen to some extent and have conversations to yeah, go, a, there, where are these people coming yeah, from? There's, and, a, there's, a, there's a... Look, it, it, and this is a, with this whole Trump era, which is crazy. So it's like everything is bullshit except for what you want to believe. Right. 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 And right, then right, all right. of a sudden you've contorted yourself ethically in a way that you just... This is right. But yes. all the rest is right. So if you got Obama and Obama goes, I grabbed a pussy, you don't have a problem with oh, that's that. That would you, be an amazing that, tape, dude. You, right. That's, <laughs> you know, when you have notoriety, you can roll yes. grab a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> just, they let you do it. They just, they just let you do it. They let you do it. <laughs> when you have a certain degree of uh, yeah. uh, notoriety. Prestige. <laughs> Prestige. Uh, sometimes I like to move on her like I'm a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Took her furniture shopping. Huh? She's married. The whole thing's a mess. <laughs> She's an eating machine. Okay, so if you, if you want to tell Obama. me you're okay with that, I had, a, I, had a, I had a discussion with this dude. I don't know if I would be okay with it, but I would certainly enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, but yeah, I'm saying yeah. you're okay yeah. with this dude, this fucking orange fucking maniac right. saying this, but you're not okay with really. And I was like, I, then it's the uh, but Hillary, but uh, dog, she's not, she's not the president, and nobody said that she's perfect either. I go, I said to this dude yesterday, I go, if your son came in and he was breaking windows, and he said, yeah, but Hillary was breaking windows you'd be okay as a father you okay with that right. so what we're talking about is basic integrity and credibility right. what you would expect from people around you what was the grabbing the pussy thing and like, what did he actually say well that he literally said uh he said that you could grab him by the pussy when you're famous you can do whatever you they let you do whatever you want but so isn't that sentence like fair he, he said they'll let you. So the power is her. She's allowing him, because of who he is, to behave a certain way. 
that so the, that's, I mean, I see that's what he's saying though that's, that's the justification because that's not necessarily not true and but, this is the, yeah but, what, but real quick but when you think about the fact that Donald Trump specifically is like asshole rain man yeah in the sense that he's actually very weird yeah. and kind of off socially yeah the way he like look if he said you know what women are more likely to like you know fuck me because I'm rich or whatever yeah. that's just true yeah that's not a debate but he said he and that was the whole context was like I just go up on them and start touching yeah. them and shit. So if you hear That's what, what he's actually what the saying, was. the yeah. fuller saying he's like, I just automatically kiss them. I don't say yeah. anything to them. So the weight, oh. so that, and then you combine that with all these women saying like, yeah, as a matter of fact, like I was on a flight with him and he grabbed my breasts and, and I did goes, not, and I didn't, I didn't, like, it I didn't like it at all. Right. And this dude's yeah. a freak. Oh, yeah, that's the I, so that's, I that's he the said context. Yeah. They yeah. let me. Nah, nah, nah. nah. He didn't yeah. say I'm at a party and they're like, oh, you're some rich guy. Finger me. No, no, that wasn't what he was saying. But he's not saying I'm Jason. Jason Momoa has no body not letting him finger them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the Aquaman. Aquaman is wet for a reason. They, they, other than the ocean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. They looking at Jason Momoa. I look at Jason Momoa. I'm like, ooh, I might hit that. So <laughs> right. that guy's beautiful. But beautiful the, wow. But the, I mean, Dante holding hold I mean, two uh, cans uh, of sardine uh, like, hey, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want anything? You hungry? <laughs> I make a nice tilapia. Come on. <laughs> but in, in essence, what you're saying is, is the pursuit of truth. Yeah. And that sometimes there's a there's a glitch in that or we miss a thing or we don't carry the one. And then we we end up a little off. But right. in that sometimes discussion, when you do those like those analogies, it sounds, you know, like Southern Baptist preachers. Yeah. Oh, it it sounds, when you, especially when you're doing the GPS one. Oh, yeah. All I could do was visualize Dante sweating at the fucking <laughs> pulpit with a fucking thing. Because if you don't get the GPS <laughs> correct, <laughs> you end up lost. How are we going to find you? Yeah. How he gonna find it? Doesn't he talk a little bit? Could be a little. I speak. I talk in t-shirts. Just fucking. I talk in t-shirts. That's you know? not a bad thing, right? Well, that's yeah, how that's, that's how he won this fucking election. That's how he won the talking election. Talking in talking in t-shirts. That's right. But that nice the, that that pursuit of truth and, and and but a genuine pursuit of truth, uh, a genuine empathy for people who don't understand, a genuine empathy for wanting to make people understand, right. and really and to have real discussion. Right. So. It's it's. I was talking about this on stage the other day. Look, there is toxic masculinity, right? Absolutely, but you re we can't say that some chicks went there and didn't went to Harvey and didn't know what the deal was and didn't make the deal. That's a part of it too. But we gotta have the discussion about that as well. Not just the and and, and here's what's interesting. What I think is really interesting. You got. Weird rich dudes who eventually, who really sent their life on a path. I'm gonna be rich and powerful so I can bend people's will. Right. And that was the rules of the game. Right. For many years. Right. Now the rules have changed and they're going, I go, oh, now you know what it is to be black. See how you change the games? Like all of a sudden it's, it's, it's now we change the games midway. And now you can't do that. And now they're lost because. They didn't really ever have to read the room. If this was my plan, I'm going. I'm going to get rich and famous, and then I'm going to bend people's will to to whatever whatever I want to do because I'm rich and famous. But you know, what part of the problem is too, though. I think just like because we're Americans, we always make it like personality and decision based as individuals. So to what me, do you mean? Like, well, I mean, like I look at the Harvey Weinstein thing, and I'm like, okay, yeah, the dude. I mean, and that, and he's like the easy. I mean, he's he really is yeah. like just a he's bad a, he's dude. Just not right? a good dude. And I've I heard rumors about Harvey Weinstein, right? right? And I'm not even in that industry. Yeah, okay, yeah. Before that story broke, but to me, like we we get fixated on. Like I think it's 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 obviously fair for women to say there's enough of these stories, enough of this going on that this is a broader this problem. Is a problem. Absolutely, but it, and it's also right to say that this is also to me it's like a labor problem. Like there's a broader thing here where it's like you have workforces where people aren't organized, they don't have job protection, yeah. and they can get exploited. Yes. So like, so, and and I'm not saying it's the same thing, but when I read about Charlie Rose, like the thing that struck me, and also Harvey Weinstein, as a matter of fact, yeah, is yeah. that. You know, yeah, you know what? I'm not, it's not the same thing, but they were beating up and abusing 
everybody yeah. in your organization. Right. You had unaccountable wealth and power. Right. And if you have unaccount, and then that's not even to mention the fact that if we started to take this out of the lens, like right. outside of uh, you know music and and entertainment sure, and all that sure, shit, sure. imagine what's going on in fucking strawberry fields. Yeah. The type of sexual abuse well, and you, predation. So we well, got to start saw, looking at more with, structurally. I think that uh, yeah. Bill Maher talked about about um, oh, about the waitresses about the wage gap thing yeah. with oh, the, yeah. oh wait with the waitress no the waitresses thing. Where yeah. it was, uh, they talked about there's a lot of abuse that kind of takes place because these women are working for below for minimum wage. They're just and working for tips. tips. So of now course. they like, can't show your tits. So, yeah, so now, make more tips. Yeah. Now a customer being a fucking asshole, you can't be like, hey, go fuck yourself because now that directly affects you. So you have to play along with this shit in order to, to, pay your to, bills. to pay your bills. Exactly. And it reminded me, I forget, there was some some fucking pickup guy that somebody brought to my attention years ago. I honestly, he went, he did a bunch of books where he went across. Mystery. No, no, no. Me how? He's more uh, recent one. The one, he's the game, the one that wrote the game? No, 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 no. He was, he's more obscure. But he went to, he went to all these different countries and he wrote like how to, you know, fuck girls in different countries. Was or it RDF? Silly. Probably RDF. No, right? Roosh, Roosh. Oh, Roosh. Roosh. Okay, right, yeah, right, right. So yeah, he's, he's part of RDF. He's a real. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah so yeah. in my view, you know, what I've seen of him, he seems he seems like literally a little off, you know. Yeah, yeah. Do but she. when he wrote that he went to, you know, he's like, I remember when I was reading, because there was an article about him, I think in The Baffler or something, mm -hmm. and he said, you know, when I went to Scandinavia, like those countries suck because you know, like the things are the most like equal gender wise, so girls like. They're hard to fuck. Now, my response, even honestly, just <laughs> as as like a as a as like an egotist, yeah, yeah, who who likes to succeed in the most challenging environments possible at all you time. Like, so you go to Denmark because so what are you like? What you want to really you want to go to Ukraine <laughs> and right, exploit right. a devastated right. economy and essentially have like a glorified <laughs> hooker experience and both abuse them and make yourself look Absolutely. like a fucking loser? Absolutely. Or do you want to go somewhere where we've evened a lot of that shit out and the woman's actually like, you know what? Actually, I really want to fuck you. Right. Like, I've got everything taken care of. Well, I've got everything. And you know what? You, I want that. Well, here's, that's, an, that's something. Well, here's, here's, here's the thing. And, this, and what, I'm, what I'm finding about all roads end in truth. So, like, truth and credibility. So... If you that if you really saying you that dude, then be that dude. Right. Go to the places where it's hardest, where people have equality and they have good jobs and stuff, and then see how your game works. And so I have this thing I always say: real game is no game. Right. Like you got to be the dude. Stop. You you know and and look, I'm not saying Are you that suggesting that Harvey Weinstein didn't he, have any game. He had no. And that if he I, wasn't that if he wasn't the head of Hollywood, he couldn't have picked up all those. Would, well, it, probably. I mean, I I don't want to you know be nasty to people but it does seem like with some of these guys like it just seems like shit like this this has to go back to not being able to get a hand job in high school absolutely it probably right. does yeah. it has absolutely. to probably it does. has to and 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 so let, and let then me, become a hating woman basically yeah, so, yeah. well let, let me you know yeah. so let me i'll give you the, the background of the show yeah, yeah and, tell me, and tell the me. background is was that okay so so i was a male stripper for 10 years um I ran an escort service for about seven, and I kind of... Of, of, of women or women, men? Of women. Okay, of yeah, women. Yeah. I kind of ended up working at a strip club, and I was working at a strip club in Brooklyn, and these chicks, at, at right time, around the time when Giuliani was um, doing this Vice stuff, to like... Oh, like turn, cracking down on Cracking down on everything. Right. And there was chicks who, were, chicks who were... They were fucking in the club. Right. And, they, and I was fighting with them not to turn tricks in the club, right? right. And... Uh, and then I was like, "Well, we, I could just take this out the club, right?" <laughs> and that's how I got it. And it's and I'm, it's not something I'm proud of, but it was part of something that was part of my life. And I've learned a lot about the the psyche in the in the context of that. And the stripper stuff kind of taught me the attraction. But further on, listen, I read Christopher Ryan's book, Sex at Dawn, yep. and then I started looking at the instinctual. So human beings have on on this earth for two hundred thousand years, and the way that we pick mates is is built into the DNA. Yeah. How could it not be? Yeah. But then we have the the social construct, marriage, monogamy, fidelity. On top of that, and where we think that we're so cognitive and so progressive that 
as if those instincts don't still exist. Right. And they've never been ev evolutionary, ev in an evolutionary way, snuffed out. And so right. you, you have these relationships where these things are still in play. And then the instinct seeps through that social contract. Right. So that's what, like, when Chris Ryan, he said, like, uh, like you, you know, you maybe you could be a vegetarian. Maybe that's the best thing to be. But right. Bacon but still, still going to smell good, right? Right. And you still I gotta tell process you, proteins. Anecdotally, Caribbean women don't like that book. Really? In my experience. Really? Yeah. yeah. Which one? Uh, <laughs> Sex at Dawn. Why? Sex at Dawn. Why yeah. would they like it? And why, 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 what do they have a problem with? In the context of me trying to convince them of non monogamy, <laughs> yeah, I just fucked around. Oh. <laughs> I was just like, them that, bitches cheat that, too. That, so what's what's this mess? Why you think about this? You think you're going to fuck Paulette? Shut up, Trisha. You think you're going to fuck fuck Paulette and Susan and uh. Trisha? Who, yep. who you think this? Who you think this is? <laughs> may I you shut you up on your blood? I may have, may have, I may have many degrees, <laughs> but I have no morality. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's, but dealing with that, and then the, the fundamentals right. of it, the fundament, and, and so look, and, and you know, the majority of my my listeners are male, right? Um, is why I don't really make a lot of money because these motherfuckers won't, you yeah. know, because guys don't ask for directions. Like That's if I was true. if I was Steve Harvey, I'd I'd be, you know, I'd be women are perfect. They never do anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, thirty million dollars. Can I get more? <laughs> can I get more buttons for my suit? <laughs> is that what Steve Harvey says? But yeah. Yeah, Pretty it's, fucking it's, much. Yeah, Anytime a, the person gets big, you. Don't don't blame women can't take blame they're not responsible ever they're, it's not their fault well i mean it's so funny again there's so many different lanes because it's like i under, i hear i think in a pop culture sense in some ways you're right but then on the other hand i'm like you know this new budget we just passed part of that shit is yeah. just straight up like ground Beef. war on women sure what budget? make them poor take away their abortion right? all of that so oh, I don't, so yeah, we're don't dealing disagree with, with that, all of yeah. these lanes at once that's a good point you know what i mean that's a good point that's a good i think point. i think especially for for men out there it's good to i don't know man i, I do notice some guys that get that when they get there's some men that are probably Pollyannish about women and they it's like they think that women are always just victims and they start to kind yeah. of try to perform for them in a that's way that's true. embarrassing these but guys there's usually a lot of have, have so much unicycles in. there's also <laughs> that's there's you also have a unicycle <laughs> you got a unicycle I, yeah I, 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 I learned when i was yeah, eight yeah but he's no, comfortable I'm with himself I'm comfortable in my but, unicycle. Uh, right. but, but on the other part, hand there's so much resentment against sure. women that i just am like it's part of it i think is it's also placement you know it's also a transition period of, of yeah they haven't been hurt and just in general there's a lot of people who haven't been hurt for so long Sure. That now they they're getting it all out at once. Now that the the floodgates all open, so it's just like all on you, not on yeah, us, but because the, but it's, the, they've but been this, fucked over for so the, long. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Even with that, right. the credibility credibility is still important, even when you get your chance. Right. Because you you dilute. The importance of your message when you don't maintain credibility simply because you don't want to become what your oppressor is right because you and that and that can happen too so the the, the terminology i use is the benevolent king it's it's yeah you look just because i'm the king doesn't mean i get to shit on everybody my 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 endeavors and my my focus needs to be on the betterment of the kingdom i need right. to be righteous because when i'm a righteous king people will follow right and when i'm listening to my to my you know my my subjects it makes me better uh, but i i have to i have to be able to be progressive enough that i can sift through the bullshit and see what's real and constantly question what I am and who I am and listen to all those voices and then make the kingdom better. Right. And, and, and when you do that, and that's the empathy that you need yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as, as the benevolent king. And when you are the benevolent king, which doesn't mean that the king, he don't chop, he sometimes people get their head chopped off. Oh, yeah. When it's righteous to do so, but not... For your ego, mm. not because you, for jealousy and these other things that we, these these kind of worthless emotions. Uh. So staying in the context is that's what makes you attractive. There's no, look, your vibe, Mike, is, is you get laid. You can't, I don't, you don't have to say it. You don't have to, your vibe, your swag I know, game knows game, I know you ain't sweating getting some pussy. 
They should take up like a small video of him right now. He's just like, <laughs> right? <laughs> Can't stop getting pussy, you know what I mean? It's, it's everywhere. It gets, it gets complicated, actually. In one way. Well, it could just be time consuming. Well, Absolutely. Yeah. I'll just be an asshole. <laughs> that, but that, how far is that from the truth? Let's be honest. Uh, yeah. I okay. So, you, you, I mean, get it real. No, but I think, but I think, yeah. But I, so that's another thing that I really wonder about too in the, in these conversations that there's so many. Fu- so, especially in the worlds that I'm in, and I think rightly in a lot of ways. Again, if we look at, because again, I look at this stuff so much from a kind of macro perspective, sure. right? So, like, there's no doubt, like, in these big systems, whether it's racism or sexism, or and also on the, some of the cultural stories we sure. tell, we tell very toxic cultural stories sure. about all of these things right but then on the flip side i definitely think that yes like i i wonder i was on a show recently called uh, champagne sharks mm. it's a real good show and um and we were talking about like the alt-right and gamer gate and all of this bullshit and when i first encountered that stuff and granted i was just starting myself right, right? i was just getting a platform and and I still make jokes like this all the time, like jokes like, like you know, the main problem in today's society is we just stop beating down on nerds, and right. as soon as their faces got out of the toilet, everything just they took over Silicon Valley, and everything just fucked up. And mediocrity yeah, became yeah. the bar. And mediocrity became the bar, and it's all just these snivelly little like, yeah, and all this bullshit, right? But. What I was so I did all this stuff like I look I don't care like whatever play a video game take a run get a yeah. shower like get your dick in something <laughs> shut up right mm. I make comments like that all the time right. when I wasn't being like now I'm going to talk about Saudi Arabia because that's <laughs> important you know real snobby <laughs> shit and 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 I think though that it, what I realize in retrospect now I think that there are some young men who got drawn into this whole toxic field we're in who really. You know, you just see it. And I guess what I was thinking of earlier when I talked about how some people are out of the realm. I don't know if you guys have been seeing that video that Jimmy Kimmel did with those Trump voters in the Dreamer family, right? Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I watched that video. And to me, like, though, I don't mean that, like, you know, I, I, actually, I would still create a world where all of those Trump voters would have health care and they'd have higher money. But at the same time, when I look at that, the fact that they could look at that family and have no... See their face. Then I'm like, all right, fuck you. Like, you're, just, you're my enemy. I'm not that trying to like, like we're not in 1970s yeah, I'm Jamaica. Not trying, I'm not trying to get I don't you. have like a gun unit coming at you, right? You know, to get to burn you out of your home so you can't vote. We're not in that world, mm. but at the same time, like I don't have anything for but you. That's the benevol- I've got that's nothing to say to you. I don't absolutely. have any respect for. It. I think it's disgusting. But on the other hand, and where it links loops back to this gender stuff, is I was like, you know what? There were probably some young men that, you know, I was like, okay, we made fun of and we dismissed, but. The only representations they had in popular culture were on one hand, they had these vultures in the alt-right and Breitbart and all that garbage saying like, yeah. hey, man, you know, like, what are they talking about? Women have all the power. You can't have sex. And, you know, and, and, and playing video games is real noble. And that's it. And then their representation of what they heard was left was like, you know, here are the top 15 ways that Lena Dunham was woke at some fucking NFL event or some dumb shit. Yeah. And they just got two wrong messages. One was that they were innately disgusting and right. irrelevant at best. And the other was that they were super noble and amazing just for being, yeah. you know, just for being a white kid. And nobody said, you know, uh, whether it's on on your end, how do you actually cultivate yourself? And nobody said on my end, like, yeah, you are getting fucked. And it isn't because, you know, a woman wants to get paid the same amount as you or whatever. It's right. because companies are shipping your jobs overseas because your dad is earning less than he used to because both your parents, maybe you're working. Trump's got a gold yeah. toilet. Because Trump, yeah. and, they, and by the way, Trump is the natural result of the Republican Party. Absolutely. He's no separate. They're all the same yes. gangsters and too many Democrats are the same shit. Yeah. And nobody came to them with some empathy for even though we could say in the grand scheme of things there's a lot of bigger problems. But actually, so, you know what? This sounds, this is not something I would usually say publicly, but I've definitely thought about that. Like, look, I, when I was young, I lucked out because I didn't, there were enough, I'm not saying an overwhelming amount or whatever, but there were enough really attractive women that they wanted, like, I would have had to ultra fuck up for them to not sleep yeah. with me. Right. So that I didn't really, you know, they decided they, they like they liked how I looked, whatever. They didn't, they, it was cool. So right. I could take it. And then all of the anxiety and, 
And I started to think, like, you know what? Yeah, man, I don't know. I, I lose my mind if I don't have sex for, like, a month or three weeks now, which is insane. I'm an adult. I'm, I'm looking someone, at my, click my watch. I'm like, what yeah. time is it? And so, and so could you imagine that? Yeah, if you're sure. a young man and you, sure. and, you haven't, and you don't feel as if you can be respected or competent, your body's totally out of control, and then some other people take that and build a whole fucking crazy narrative about it, and then other people are just like, oh, pff, you want to have sex? Well, you know. <laughs> hashtag male tears <laughs> or all that other shit well you're and right you're this right. is the empathy yeah, you're talking you're right. about and so so in a lot of things so, so one of the things that we say is lay to five bricks lay to five bricks yeah. is is speak to five women a day not disrespectfully not right. but just to get that muscle where you understand this this social uh muscle so that you can kind of develop some kind of yeah. game where you 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 can interact because they want to fuck too right i've never trust me I, women want to fuck you but if well, you probably it, overall more than we do probably so yeah. <laughs> it, it, yes, it's or at least i don't believe that, yeah. I don't really? believe that either no. no your experience in life is not that women are incredibly horny no really yeah they're horny when they want to be or some shit i don't Listen, I, 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 yeah, when they like, yeah, well, they want to be. I don't want to be or What a bunch like, of look, bullshit. Look, I, I, I've spoken to, uh, spoken to, I've, I've recently met a contact with a couple women. Um, the, one of them I, I had oh, just yeah, spoken to connect. who said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I asked her when, you know, she, I hadn't seen her for a while. Yeah. I go, have you touched yourself since? She goes, no, I can't, whatever. She, I can't get horny without you, but, but the, the point is, She'd gone a month or like two months without masturbating. I've fucking it, woken up possible at just random times of sleep because right. I'm like, I'm, it hurt. It's so hard. It's painful. Right. I'm hard gotta, to the point it hurt. And right. how, how old are you again? I'm 25 now. Shut up. But yeah. it's it whatever. It's matter. just like He's I don't right. believe this is, whole the, the, women no, no, are twenty times but, no, but than I you think, are. But I think that when? Yeah, but Bullshit. I think that if you ta no, but and no. I'm not some nigga that never got pussy before either. Yeah, no, no, no. don't worry. No, you don't saying that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. He said that real Obama. Let me be clear. Yeah, I was getting pussy too before the first. Before the first. Before this part, he was like a lot of the guys who have any you know right, right, right thing is because they never got no pussy. No, no, I'm not saying every man. Okay, has let issues. me no, let, no, let yeah. me let me put this in perspective. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have you ever okay, you've been in situations where you was the credible dude, right? Yeah. And you had to join how much did and you had cultivated that thing where this chick was like this motherfucker here. Mm -hmm. How much did that chick want to fuck you? A lot. Huh? A lot. Yeah. All exactly. the time. Yeah. That's More than you want to fuck? No. Probably not at 25. Yeah. But I'm saying I've been in situations where I've, you know, my swag is and I'm comfortable the in my space. The only time where it was a situation where she wanted to fuck more than I wanted to fuck is the fourth time that day where it was like, but that's what I'm talking I, I'm about. back home now and that's she's what I'm like, I'm ready about. to go again. But that's exactly but that's, what I'm talking about. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's yeah, because I'm that's, that's about. because I don't know how to control my masculine energy or whatever if I learned how. At that point, I would be able to continue to go because men, actually, that's men do. True. Have, I, read, that's I read a book. I read a book called yeah, the Multi Orgasmic so it's, exactly. Man. Exactly. So it's yeah, possible. Yeah, 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 that's possible. It's true. just that we don't know right. how to fucking no, no, do because, it because right. because we're not educated. Right. So it's not yeah, this yeah, thing yeah. of that's true. She's just this monster. No, no, but women. Are, no, but but by the same token, like okay, so I'm not trying. Okay, I talked to a, a, a woman. A mate, like you know, woman I used to see, very mm. cool, whatever. Yeah. Let me actually, let me. I'll try to. I'm trying to make this all as anonymous as possible. The point, actually, you <laughs> yeah, know, multiple you, women have said, both women that I have, that's a perfect way. Both women that I have 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 you know slept with, mm -hmm. and women that are like f you know friends or whatever, that they that they have woken up in the middle of the night, and they and a dude fucked them and was done in you know two minutes uh -huh. and, and ready they to get rock up out and, again. no they, they use a vibrator yeah. because yeah, they're not yeah, even yeah. trying anymore guy. because the dude doesn't know okay, and they but, are but horny but that's not the same that's, that's, not the same. that's the guy being constant. lame he don't have right. but there's a lot of that Yes, yeah, yeah, that's a lot, a lot of, of lame yeah. and, and it correlates with this, with this okay. like sense you have, of what. There's a study no, where they show what happens when women get testosterone, and these bitches lose their mind. A well, lot of. Well, lot yeah, of is, is that the end result that the scientists? <laughs> yeah, came I was saying when he said it. I was like, that was the abstract conclusion. Yeah, what is your conclusion? Mount Sinai Medical. Well, it is. It is our. Butchers are losing. It is our conclusion that when given testosterone. 
these bitches lose their mind. <laughs> but I'm, but I think actually, no, right, go ahead. But let's let's Sorry. let's. Yeah, let, yeah. There's also an age thing because as our testosterone decreases and you get you a 40 year old joint, you can't do. You could you could knock you. the smoke but off. But also the you, same way like. Me and you would talk about diet and working out and all this. Sure. All of that shit plays a huge role. Even combating xenoestrogens and, and, and yeah, phytoestrogens and all this road. thing. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, cause I know this shit Look, is possible, I, bro. Yeah, well, I know what yeah. You yeah. can fuck like a racehorse till you seventy if you do the shit correctly. No question. I agree yeah. with but that. But the thing is with That's women, not, definitely not what I'm debating. And the and the, the more masculine dude falls into his energy, he can actually she can trip up to the point where she can't go no more. I buy it. And that's and I've seen that happen. But that's to the point super, I've seen multiple cool. women fuck, fuck come three times and literally just like my it don't work no more. It's I'm tired. Like I want to sure. do something. Why do you? Why you? Keep, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. How have you been talking to so many women that I see? <laughs> it's the same bitch. You know the same bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> well, you I didn't know you were going to do research on me before I came on the show. That's how we do it. Like, <laughs> that's how we do it. Um, I, I think what, what you're, look, you got to understand, is I, and I say this all the time, a, a woman is a reflection of the dude she's fucking. Yeah. And so you wow. you, you, you can't expect, like, if you, like, even in a situation where a chick is, is hot and she's ready to go, if you don't know how to mesh with that yeah. energy, she's turned off. And then she don't want to fuck and you. And I know this happened to you, too, because you're the person I came to for advice when it first happened to me, where you would fuck a girl and I guess... Just the how well it was, or how long, like, like how intense it was. She'll not speak to you, like run, well, like that's, run that's, away. But that's and also a young, that's a, a young girl because of how good it is. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, I see. You it know was what I'm so. What I'm saying is, it's it, what we what he's talking about what is you mean, like when you when you take the religion out of them. And yeah, yeah. Them? <laughs> <laughs> Suck a little soul out. Yeah, you just Suck like soul out of the pussy. <laughs> What's the meaning of all this? <laughs> Suck the religion out. Yeah. I would say that. <laughs> I don't know. What are we doing? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Why are we even here? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I know I'm here because I'm asking that question. <laughs> I think, therefore, I am. <laughs> no, that's a good one. Took the religion out. Well, it, it, but he is. But when but you, when that know. what that is, that's the intimacy. That's present, being present and being intimate and understanding the intimacy, the connection, the connection of. Of two people coming together in that in that but, in that context. Dante, That's a Dante, whole other problem. Dante, yeah. Dante, you I mean what we focus on and the, the, the quintessential theme of what this is is that it all goes to instinct, right? Instinct and the instinctual drive, and the instinctual drive is ultimately to procreate. Right. Hence the reason why men have so many sperm and women only have a few eggs. Sure, sure. Because we have to spread the seed faster than the tiger can catch us to kill us, etc. Sure. That goes in defiance of the idea that women are as horny as men. They're not as horny as men. No. Men have to be horny because we got to spread this seed. Okay, wait a minute. Well, yes, they have to spread the seed, but right. here's the difference. Mm -hmm. That a woman has to take into consideration. But that that's she not a, being as horny. Wait I know a minute. what you're saying. Let me finish. The, the point is she, she has a limited amount of eggs, so just because she's horny doesn't mean she can just spread the eggs all over. That doesn't mean she, you can still have the desire, but you have to be – you can be frivolous because you've got billions of sperm. She has a limited amount of eggs, and because she has a limited amount, she needs to procreate with somebody who genetically, pr uh, pr the, the immortality is the genetic, moving those genes to the next generation with the, with the person who's going to help the species survive. But there's also no shit. doubt. I'm not saying that this stuff isn't real, but like we, it's all everything is nature and nurture. So all the sure. dish, everything, like you don't think birth control has radically changed how people have sex. Like the fact the condoms have changed how people have sex. Like there is, I mean, we we get to set some of this as we go, right. and there's no doubt. I, I get that, but ultimately, as far as even without <laughs> having a partner. Just talking about horniness, right? Yeah, it's oh, men are always horny, but we, I we're I far more horny than women ever are. Like you, uh, no, no, they try to make a female. Close. They try to make a female Viagra, and men can take it. Reason why men can take it because the ingredients are to boost the testosterone Question. in the woman. 
the, uh, the she was re- saying the chemically. You're like, chemically you're, like a, you know, you're like a comic book villain over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that? You know, that's the research. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, you, <laughs> he comes <laughs> off dumb as yeah. shit until you start talking about what you like. Who the fuck are you? I didn't say all that. I did. I said it so you don't have to. He just came off like a like a mild mannered, <laughs> chill dude. I have nothing dumb about him. Andre, he just, he just went from hey, how no, he do was, he yeah, was, no, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, you think you think that, that that's the fucking biochemistry? <laughs> don't try to lie to me. Don't 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 kill yourself. <laughs> He's dumb as dirt. Andre D. But Thompson he, his, D is for dumb. But you're right. It is. It is. It's science. It's, it's D is for dumb. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it is it is nurture it is nurture too but his it's point to, yeah. what Andre was trying to say is funny is like in order for a woman to be as horny as a man you gotta increase the, testo- the testosterone like they're a man but hold on yeah. that's the funniest thing it's the when you look at the size of the increase yeah. they it's basically they bump it up to what was relative to about an 8 to 12 year old boy so by the time a mi- the person she's trying to fuck is 600 deciliters and she's like all right now i'm 15 yeah, yeah, yeah. see we, i got you now spider man <laughs> so she goes from fucking Wait, five saying, hold on let me dumb it down uh, excuse me doc Ock. <laughs> let me dumb it down what you're saying is they you got a man's got to run on a full tank of gas no, of no testosterone. It's just, it's a woman just, has to just that, be increased yeah, that little by bunch, like a couple drops that little drop is like hold oh, i'm gonna fuck everything and right. we're walking around with 30 times that Right, yeah, just no, on okay, average. So yeah, Hence, we're, we're horny. But let me, let me. All right, whatever. Yeah. I'm not, right. This is it's, not a. This is not, not a, a really cross that I can't yeah. die. I mean, yeah, I don't fair really enough. Give a fuck. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm horny. We're, as a matter of fact, and how why many, don't we cut this short and get to the Friday evening? <laughs> how many Jack deciliters? Up. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Anyway, <laughs> no, but Dante's <laughs> gonna slap him across the face. How many deciliters was that? And and I'm just gonna be like, well, deciliter is not a measurement of strength, and then just slap him. You look like. Actually, use pound actually, there, was, unit. there was a research from Penn that if you smack a man in the face, he actually has an even greater desire for a threesome. And that was correlated with... <laughs> I didn't see a threesome thing coming. Uh, <laughs> you got to get shit. specifics in the joke. But let me ask you a serious question. Sure. So what is also the... Like, to me... You know, it, this is the uh, actually this dude might definitely be li- uh, listening to this, and let me just mm. say, it's all love. Mm. But I used to have a roommate mm-hmm. who was like a dating coach, right? Right, and okay. it was pretty funny because, right. and I, I didn't, you know, mainly I, we didn't really. The only time I ever had to do my fucking liberal shit was when he was, you know, because he was like black dude, and he gave me the like, you know, Bill Cosby was going to buy NBC thing. Yeah, okay. And I was like, I don't think that that's actually true. I'm sorry, you got to make me the woman friendly white guy. <laughs> But I think he probably raped some women, right? <laughs> and you know that that yeah. was just so you know, yeah, yeah. as a comic, yeah, that was well known that yeah, he sure, that yeah. was a thing. You and know, everybody, yeah, I've heard a lot of people. You know, what's yeah. really weird is that my when my family left New York is kind of like hippies. You know, the ta- the little country town he lived in in Massachusetts when he mm. went to UMass is where we lived, right? And uh, and he t- and in the late '80s he actually took Jesse Jackson there, and Jesse Jackson won this little tiny white town. And he campaigned with Jesse Jackson up there. It's a crazy yeah. story. But that being said, we would talk. And, I mean, he would always have – because when I moved in, the I, I had, like, a, a real girlfriend. And then we broke up mm-hmm. relatively short after I moved in. So then I was – Doing your thing. I was back on a lifestyle that right. he would approve of. Right. That's right. how I'll put it. <laughs> and, and, Bill Cosby? And, yeah. oh. You're too beautiful to be yeah. awake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no girl as fine as you should be as awake as you are. <laughs> so, so, no, I, I like conscious for better for worse. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but, <laughs> you get real freak that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking weird. Please, I, like, <laughs> I like non inebriated awake women who want to fuck me. How, what a like, cuck. You weirdo. Yeah, 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 you exactly. Weirdo. Right, Jesus. right. So, so I said, so, so he, but he would always say, he'd be like, you know, make sure, like, you know, like, oh, don't don't let her trick you into getting her pregnant or don't, you know, he, he my point was, was that his mindset about women, mm-hmm. it wasn't just that it was in my mind, some of it absolutely was sexist, no doubt. But it was also that, like, he just was reflect, like, 
there was clearly enough of circles of people that he was around where it was like, you know, he was talking to a lot of women who wanted to trick men into getting them pregnant. He was talking to a lot of women who weren't, you know, who weren't focused or whatever the fuck. I think, frankly, he was probably talking to some men in the same. So to me, and I'm not saying I've dated, you know, I've had plenty of, I mean, I actually, it's funny. I think the like the dating and hookup part, that's the easy part. Relationships are fucking terrifying. Yeah. So I don't have an idealized view of women at all. Right. But at the same time, like I never, it was like, no, I'm not, I'm not having sex with any woman who's secretly, they they have a career. They, this woman does not want me to get her pregnant. Right. Like, or this woman has like, you know, two degrees or this woman is an artist or what. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is that we talk about it through this gender, but I'm also looking at different people have different value systems. They cut across gender. Different people have different lifestyles. Different people have different goal sets. I'm not saying there still aren't differences in how they manifest. Right. But you can't, at a certain point, talking about men and women just strikes me as like, you're talking about completely different planets of human being. You say on men and women, or you talking about inside women, or, men and but women? He, yeah, okay. Inside right. the groups, okay. we as dudes are different than. I have Absolutely. nothing in common with a gazillion other dudes, yeah, and neither do but, you. And, okay, and okay. women have all their different. So that's got to be a metric too. Yes, it's a metric. But yeah. here's 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 what I would say. Right. And the analogy I use is, we look at Grey's Anatomy, right? Which one? Just great, not the move, not the show. Oh, the, you the mean action. the actual chart? See, yeah, the, I'm not the okay. only one. <laughs> Thank you. <Got> you. <laughs> Shit. You look at Grey's Anatomy. No, I actually read some and research from uh, from uh, <laughs> Buffalo State that said when you look at Grey's Anatomy, men want to actually fuck ten Asian women. Yeah. <laughs> So that was actually I don't know the, how, yeah the, how the many testosterone level. You, how many deciliters? Deciliters? <laughs> when, when, when your deciliters go up above sixty, you want Asian. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, no, I read that oh, research. Yeah. <laughs> so here's, here's, here's what I say: this. I, there are variables. Everybody has these variables, and we're very we we have these differences. Right. But our differences are the same. It, 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 the differences if you have a litter of pit bulls. Okay. Like when we look at them as puppies, they all look alike to us. Right. So there are things that pit bulls do that they just do. Right. And it doesn't matter if one is alt right or alt left, they just pit bulls. Right. And so when when we talk about the difference between, and, and, and Christopher Ryan talks about this, the, the difference between like Bilobo monkeys are 90%, 99%. Uh, the same as us genetically. Right. It's that one percent. So, but for us, those those, you know, that one percent is vastly different. But from everybody, from anybody, any other species, we all look alike. Right. So. Right. right. But those. But so there are there are. Um, so I used to get in trouble a lot of times because I would say all women are alike. Right. Right? right, and but all women are alike because all men are alike. Right. So and there's a thousand things that you could rattle off that all men, all men jerk off, the all men sinus. scratch their nuts, all men. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and so there's so much similarities to it, and we we focus on the differences, the the, the nuance of it, and we out we blow those nuances as if those things are so much vastly different. But, but we, isn't that where you're trying to get in on with people? Because to me, like when you say that, so. So take something manifesting totally differently and I'll get, let me give you a real extreme example right so Pablo Escobar and Nelson Mandela are both very courageous physically risk taking men sure. who had a clear vision right. and to some extent didn't give a fuck right. one was a narco terrorist and we can you know Nas and the show and everything right, and right, whatever right. but in reality if you've ever even just looked at a picture of the results of like blowing up a little pharmacy in Bogota right, and you've right. seen a baby I've seen these pictures like a baby blown up on the ground like this is evil shit yeah, it's sure, fucked up sure, sure. and it's fun We could, and I love all that stuff stuff too but I'm, but you know in reality in it's reality, fucked up right. yeah, on yeah. the flip side Nelson Mandela is you know an iconic representation of you know peace and reconciliation and so there's similar qualities they're both not they're both actually exceptional men in a value neutral sure. sense right but one is someone whom all of us should want to emulate and the other is in fact you know like evil yeah so within that difference yeah those are fucking universes and we got i think that that's where you can intervene and i would even start absolutely. talking about where those differences are so they that matters a lot yeah, right but abs yeah absolutely yeah. but the point is recognizing even the fact that you can recognize that they're the same okay 
is the point. Right. To, so to say that they're not the same is inaccurate. Right. So and and so what are we saying? Like we I, we need to understand what that uh, that current location is, and to 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 be able to say that is progressive in itself that these are two dudes who have, have manifested their whole lives in separate directions but yet and still they are the same dude and understanding that gives us the power to move in that positive direction and maybe not in that that negative direction. does that make sense no i got that so i got and i mean I, and i think with the other thing that's hard about it though is i think that that's also why we are fascinated by the people who are like real good or real bad right because sure, everybody sure. else is like thing. dicking out but everybody else is dicking around in the middle right and they're not coherent and of integrity enough to really be on that nobility and even the dude and there are this evil has dick. an integrity about his evilness well that's what I'm saying because yeah. they're following through on a lot of credibility of the evilness and they're doing it and, and then, what and that terminology you use I'm taking that to in a, in a ethically neutral <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of, that's 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 a dope con but but they are the same dude and so now if you think about it wow this is so I, i'm so looking at a dude who doesn't get laid right and he's looking at a dude who does get laid well the difference between achieving your goals and not achieving your goals is just a decision how it's many a, liters of testosterone too <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, just you know, it's never going to stop, too. By the way, <laughs> so it's, we're, the, we're the same. It's Fair so, enough. Yeah. So, so, so the, the 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 if a dude looks at me and looks at my, you know, my conquest or whatever right. goes, oh, yo, da, 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 da. yeah, dude, I'm I'm saying to you, you could be if that's what you want to be. The scariest thing that I ever heard in my life was that you could. Be anything you want to be, because it's like to think of that. That all I all I got to do is is point it in a direction and be willing to make the sacrifices to get there. But the other scary thing is is if I'm not what I want to be, it's my fault. Mm -hmm. I can't blame it. And and I'm, we're not talking about the the the, the yeah. The I'm gonna say there's a lot of shit working on what you sure, want sure. or want to not be. Sure, but, but I think you understand think, what I'm saying. Yeah, though. well, I think it's well to me. It's kind of like I remember uh, you know this dude Warner Earhart who founded uh, I think this thing called Est in the '70s and now it's Landmark Forum. He was like a very provocative uh, like teacher, okay. right? Kind of of like I guess human potential. But I remember his thing was always he was like, it's not like it totally isn't. There's a million like. There's a million There's other a million variables, variables that are working. Yeah. But the most empowered way to choose is to is to act as if that is correct. Right. Like that's just the empowered way of right. being. And, and, as and if you, you choose, you're the consequence. On the flip side, I've actually, I, it's funny because I've dealt with some other people in that fucking yin yang where I'm like, you know what, you really actually need to like <laughs> realize that this isn't on you and you need to relax a little <laughs> sure, bit. Sure, 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 Paris. sure. Where does, um, where, do, where do people like who don't fit into the, the, the two genders fit? You know, like now we're in a world where we're recognizing transgender rights. We're dealing, you know, we're seeing a lot of other but people. But in what context? I mean, it's extraordinary. Well, to me in the civil rights context, right? Oh, oh well, yeah. I mean, you... Yeah. you Respecting people's rights and well, you know we, all of that. I, but again, we're talking about the you know the golden roof, the truth, the credibility is is tr having empathy, for, right. understand, and right. what you and and if you go back to that, it's it's all easy. It's like you like you really like this 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 guy who's born dude is not. It feels like like we had uh, me and Isabella here, right? For, uh, the chick that was messing with Tiger. Back in the days, trans, I guess you would be a trans uh, woman. A uh, Tiger Woods had slept with a trans woman? No, no, no. Me, me is about oh, the rapper Tiger. Oh, the rapper Tiger. The rapper Tiger. Oh, okay. I thought you meant Tiger <laughs> yeah, no, Woods. No, 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 no. I was like, wow. <laughs> Tiger, Wood, Tiger Woods is a lot more interesting than I thought he was. Did <laughs> you ever hear, I got to say, you know what, because he's on my mind because someone reminded me the other day of the voicemails he would leave for those girls. Oh, yeah. Those voicemails funny funniest hilarious. shit I've yeah, ever heard of. Hey, 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 it's Tiger. Hey, it's Tiger. Hey, hey, it's Tiger. Hey, hey, it's Tiger. Hey, hey, it's Tiger. I want to pick you up in my Oldsmobile. Really? Yeah. 
Oldsmobile. Yeah. Fucking... That was the type of thing. We well, somebody like... said, like, why did you leave it on voice? I forget who did the bit. It's me, Tiger Woods, the golfer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> why are you leaving it on voice? I would never. That was one of those moments when you hear that. You're just like, all right, never me. Well, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> That's just it, embarrassing. It, it's, I feel like uh, even that, like, we, we and she's, yeah. she's, she's a porn star. And a trans woman. With a yeah. huge cock, right? Okay. Like, like, right? Okay, so she hasn't. Yeah, had right. The full... And she's probably, not, but right. so um, his his so you 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 totally get this. Right. So she was the only goofy chick ever, like oblivious. You know, like sometimes the guys are rich. You pick you up in the helicopter, and then you and, <laughs> and like it's nobody. <laughs> she right? was as. She she just had a hot chick's mindset. Even the hot though chick. She's a woman. Right. She's a right. yeah. And and but, she and yeah. like the and the, yeah. so yeah. as she was talking all this crazy, I just was like, bitch, what are you talking? Like I was so unmoved. <laughs> yeah, but you see, that's how it worked. It, see, you don't even realize how well it worked because she cued your mindset At, that you were dealing with an irritating hot yeah, woman. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now here's what happened. And as I start, I started shooting. And I was like, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Instantly, am I like? Instantly, no, no. you could see she was like, "Ooh, he's putting me in my place." And <laughs> and then when we took the picture at the, we used to take a picture at the end. Right. So we, I got my arm around. Let's take the picture. And boom, she puts her ass right in my crotch. Like, this. <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh shit!" Like, I, where it was like so quick. Like, so I, some of all this stuff is just energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, right. But that's yeah, yeah. that's my point. My point right. is, right, and, right, right. you know, these labels and stuff where we put the energy is the same. There's still that masculine energy that. Oh, are energy. they supposed to be registered, like looked at as a third gender, or are they trying to? No, I think just, really I don't sure think what's trying to. Re I think that I don't. To be honest, I would be just wrong. Like I have yeah, some people that lot. that that are in my community that are trying to educate me. There's, there's we have we haven't kind of. I mean, there's it's, a woman it's, ContraPoint it's who's on YouTube. I've had her on my show a bunch of times. She's smart as fuck, right. and when it comes to kind of breaking this stuff down. But I don't. At this point, I simply don't know. It's yeah. not settled. All of the really. yeah. It's really not. And it's not settled. settled. Yeah, right. I don't know. Yeah, it's what still. Though? It's it's not settled. I think it's such a new frontier that it's almost like we're not sure. I heard some what shit they, that there's seventy genders or some shit like that. I Depending on who it breaks it down, and right. then somebody yeah. says, "But here's here's the thing. It's just again, this is like Bitcoin and right. the dot com. It's all going. It's, it's you know, it's there's a lot of scams, and then we, it's, gonna, <laughs> it's gonna condense right. into and what it really is. But, 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 but we're really around, we're lear we're learning this. But again, that's, that's a, also it goes back to what I was saying, which we're is pushing the boundaries with sure. defining the rights. That is so, so many people who've been really shut down. Thing, yeah. yeah, there's so many people who've been shut down for a long time that now it's their opportunity, like. All at once, everybody at once. Well, I'm fighting for my thing. I'm fighting for my thing. So that happens, and then, like you said, eventually it will it's slim down. Gotta, what you got? I don't know. If it's going to be slimmed down, but I think it will be synchronized. That's how. Yeah, I or see. synchronized. Yeah, you know, I had I had um Adolf yeah. Reed talk to recently. He's this brilliant black Marxist dude, and he was like, you know, he asked me, he said, "What's the biggest transgender organization in the country?" And I said, "I, you know, I don't know." He said, "The AFL CIO." What's the largest organization with the most, you know, women of color? AFL CIO, like what is that? This the bad biggest labor union you in the labor country union. because they're labor oh. unions, man. They represent they everybody. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people, no matter what their gender or identity, they need yeah. to have. That's you know, true. they need safe workplace, they need health care, they need more sure. money. The thing and so that's the yeah. things we all need. So I think there's yeah. gonna be some synchronization with that. Do you also think though that people are like, I wonder like, people being less like. I don't know how to put it, like objectifying each other less in a certain way, not in terms of like being attracted to each other and doing all that. But it seems to me that so many of these conversation breakdowns are that people are not able to deal with other people and well, being normal and being an interaction okay. regardless yeah, yeah. of what well, he, male, he, female, well, let's, yeah. let's, let's, every, a, certainly you, black, white. You, I mean, you, human beings, right. we are a, 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 a plethora of want and need yeah. you know what I mean yeah, yeah. so we we need shelter we need food we need get all these things and so that brings us to being fundamentally selfish because right. we're every day we're trying to satisfy these needs and so though and that becomes the priority and because it's the priority we objectify each other not it with the intention to objectify but just I, like i don't believe that uh, there are evil people but most people is i'm trying to get from point a to point b and you happen to be in the way 
Right. And so that selfishness, you being in, I'm ready to run up your back because you're in the way. And right. I think it starts fundamentally. And then you have to be cognitive to understand, hey, that this, this is inappropriate behavior. And this is why. And that goes back to the empathy, the empathy. Yeah. But we are selfish beings in terms of the fact that we're just need yeah we and, yeah, yeah. and and because of that i think fundamentally on on a on a fundamental level that's all we're trying to do is satisfy our needs constantly and i think like what that. changed now is that, that the technology helped to amplify negative needs it, it, you can get it met on a weird scale now well, you don't need well, to you go also, personal. You also desensitize. Yeah, so desensitize, that happens. And, and then it becomes, you know, it's... It, it was, before, you'd it, have to go and well, get it's, it. It's and a, now you don't have to thing, do that. Like, like the attention that people beer. want and so on and so forth. You get trolls, people who troll as if... And then I remember dogging... I was I, on this show. We was dogging out trolls. I was like, "You're in your mother's basement, fucking jerking off." Fuck, right. like, yeah, and yeah. then I had a guy who sent me a your 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 image of trolls is so '90s. We have jobs. I'm like, really? You're defending? <laughs> you're you defending. acknowledge yourself as a troll? You're, you're you're, fucking you're, you're fuck, yeah. So there's this guy. There's a, there's a troll union. <laughs> I, set up a, I set up a Reddit thread where I said, I hope your mom gets AIDS. And I just want to be clear that I'm a productive member yeah, of society. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. when, I'm not, when I'm not telling people they should be car bombed, I, I pay taxes. Yeah, excuse me. How dare you, sir? No, but I want to say, when I'm, like, again, you know this better than me, but, like, what, like, when you think about sex and it, like and and dating, like there's there's this funny like, a lot of people clearly not getting what they want, even yeah. if we take it outside of you know abuse and all of that. Yeah, yeah. And you hear like, again, this is anecdotal, but so many conversations where women are like, if I trust you enough, and if you recognize me enough as a human being, I do want to, as an example, have like really wild sex or right. whatever but if sure. you were viewing me as an object i can't do that i can't do that but that's and that's so much of what all this shit and that's why even like the most enlightened shit if it's heard through the wrong lens somebody's gonna listen to them stuff you say some of, i know is on point right and they're gonna take out they're gonna, you know, they're gonna be yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. moron well, or try to copy your style yeah that's your style right right that looks good because you're doing it right right right, right. someone else gonna put well, a bone in there that look like a fucking moron you, but you can't you you can only be yeah. righteous you can only be credible righteous in pursuit of truth and then when somebody uh, so like this american life and anytime i've talked about the whole the the, the proud boy thing and stuff there's right. but there's 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 empathy there's authenticity right and so okay so you 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 think i feel this way well what is it you think i feel and then i can have the conversation with you because i'm authentic if i'm full of shit you can have that feeling you attack me and then all of a sudden i'm panicking because i don't want to be exposed but i'm not afraid to be exposed because i'm really the dude that i say i am and i'm working towards that and i'm not saying that i'm not flawed and i'm not i don't have i, I don't have insecurities i'm just saying my focus is to be that dude right. that every day working on that every day which some is exhausting at times but i want to be the dude that i think i should be and that's really that's cool that's really that's well, awesome. if, if everybody did that what else would we have a problem with right then you can't go i'm gonna give a tax cut i'm gonna give you motherfuckers 18 dollars a day and then i'm gonna give the richest who don't you don't do that no because it's the wrong thing to do right it's just fundamentally it's so fundamentally wrong credibility truth and integrity it and the American way. It clean it, 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 it the clean, Cuban it way. cleans everything. Right. It sanitizes it all. And so guys trans some dude is transgender or he's a trans woman or like, dude, I, I'm not I'm not trying to control you. I don't wanna I'm not afraid of you. Explain dude, that's to another me. big thing. Cause I cause when I listen to like the to, phobias? Uh, which one? Like the phobia? The fe just in general. Every time when I when we dip in that like Proud Boy stuff for a second, yeah. you know, because sometimes we play clips of these people yeah, on the yeah. shows I am just to make fun of them. Yeah. Which, you know, that's just what we do. <laughs> right, right. That's part of the news cycle. The best so, way to really make fun of them is yeah. to play their clips. <laughs> Absolutely. And, yeah, just do and, a little, it, and I have never do. heard like, like, uh, uh, just, just objectively, like I have, 
when I listen to like a a, a, a Gavin clip or somebody yeah. like that, yeah. I have never, as a straight, whatever the fuck all the terms, cis, yeah. straight, whatever, mm -hmm. I have never in my life paid the amount of attention that this guy seems to pay to either having sex with another man oh, yeah, or a yeah, transgender yeah, yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So for me, when I hear this stuff, I'm like, look, well, first of all, I want everybody to be treated well, have equal rights, equal yeah. representation, be able to be who they are. And then secondly, I know that, you know, people, I don't want anybody beat on or discriminated against yeah. because they are who they are. Yeah. And that's it for me. Yeah. I've never been like, oh, you know, oh shit, because now, this, this gay marriage, now I'm going to be at the, 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 the gym and, and this guy's going to, you know she's he's gonna, gonna fuck me, fuck, right? Like, yeah, Although I will say this: if you if you ever want to have empathy with women, you go to, go to I remember I think you go to a, a gay gym. gym. Yeah, go to a gay gym. Go and just to 125th. You know what? Yeah. Okay, 125th I, New York yeah. Sports Club. Their yeah. their steam room is like a gay club. They yeah. have velvet ropes yeah, out and absolutely. everything. You're, yep. <laughs> You're not coming in with that. A <laughs> towel? What am I supposed to be wearing? Truth. But I'm, but I'm just saying. Like so so when I hear that from those people, I'm like. A lot of this bigotry has to be just driven by like it's fear. It's all fear, and it's fear, also it's a fear of being. Yeah. It's also oh. fear of being exposed for like the agency is deciding who you want to be. Now, what would you be if you didn't have the agency mm. watching over you to say this is wrong? And what if you didn't have to answer to people? Then what would you do? Really, would you really be the same dude right. if that was the case? And then yeah. and, and then that freedom is what happens. You hear some sometimes they slip up too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you like get this. And then and like, then, when and then I Eddie saw, Murphy. Right, there was right, a right. um, these this girl was talking about the yeah. male G spot and how to reach it, and then this dude was like, "Fuck that, that's mad gay, ain't nobody touching my ass." What you think I? And then he named like three trans porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> and then the girl was like, "Wait a minute, didn't you just?" And then I'm like, "What happened?" And then she was like, "Those are all trans porn stars." I'm like, "Oh." So that means you're watching them, nigga. Like, <laughs> the only way you're going to know is if you know. Yeah. You don't just name look, look. the third string baseball player if you're not into baseball. You know <laughs> who's on the fucking Yankees. Like, you, know who's in, you know who's in AAA coming up, motherfucker. Like, you, you know who's your about team. to swing that bat. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, it's not to say. I mean, look, some of people are just assholes. I don't think they secretly desire it, but they just suck. But at the yeah, same the, time, in general, the fear, the, but the, the, fear, fear of, the obsession. That I might. Be, right. What if I am, and they don't, and 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 right. then it, it's just a, it's a, like, and, and I was saying this the other day, the conservatism, freedom of conservatism is usually taking other people's freedom away. Exactly. So you, I need you, to be free to you, be you, me. So I, you, you guys need to get locked you up. You can't. <laughs> right. But that's kind of happening on the left too, because when they go like, oh, you can't look how they attack comics. I was like, oh, you can't say that. And it was just like, but I thought it was about the freedom of shit. Yeah, but you know what? You know what? Here's the thing, though. Let they took down a painting in a, I forgot Which what painting? gala it was. They took down a painting? Yeah, they, uh, so, there was a painting where this guy is going, he's walking past the pond, and then the pond is filled with, like, these women, the majestic type of women, but they're pulling him into the pond. Right. And it was like, that got to go, because it represents women as... Something negative. Any research on how that and affects then, testosterone leaders? It makes yeah, yeah. you sad. <laughs> it makes you sad. <laughs> you lose 30 decibels. You lose, okay, you lose <laughs> Instantly, this, yeah. as soon as you see yeah, the shit. I'm going to need him on my And then too, the leftist time. was like, that has to go. You yeah, took it out. The only thing I would say is that that to me, like, so I, I, I had on uh, this uh, Waz on last week on my show. Mm -hmm. We talked about Chappelle's new stand-up, and we debated it, and had critiques of it and also agreements and whatever. And it's a great new special. But yeah. the point he was making, though, in general is like, I know some sometimes people will try to come for somebody's job, and I understand why, like, that I can't, or taking out a painting, I don't know that story, but that sounds stupid. But at the same time, there's this preciousness. Like, Dave can get critiques. He's not going to stop doing stuff. Right. In fact, I can critique some of the things Dave said. I'm still going to watch every single thing he does. <laughs> I think he's a dope. genius. So he's I don't yeah. – I think, though, that people sometimes – there's a little bit of this like, oh, well, on the left, they're trying to shut down comics. And it's like, look, some people on the left are humorless and annoying. But if you want to talk about shutting people down, you got to get into like, you know, FISA courts and literally spying on people and shit. Yeah, yeah. And it's just not a false equivalency. That's all I'd say. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. I, I you just I think we get into a situation where and it goes back to credibility, honesty, empathy. Right. Back it no matter what it is, it comes back to that. And when you are in a situation where you hate gays because gays are being gay. I, if you don't want like gays, just don't suck a dick. Right. Yeah, you, yeah, could yeah. Just, you could just not do that. 
Right. But you want to stop him from you don't you don't want to not suck a dick. You want to stop him from sucking a dick. Right. Right. You don't want well, you don't want to you don't want to have that's your super job. Weird, bro. You want to stop motherfuckers. <laughs> that's other super from, weird. Yeah. I saw. I remember this dude. He wouldn't give. He wouldn't dap this guy up because he was gay. And that. He, uh, shake his hand. Oh, shake his hand. Okay, yeah. I apologize. <laughs> You've been doing this show for 300 episodes. And you don't even know what that means. I've never heard "dap" as a as a format. You shake haven't been paying attention. Wow. Yeah, you don't love it. Go in the I corner. Say, <laughs> <laughs> wow. But yeah, he wouldn't Ooh, shake his hand. We lose him. He wouldn't yeah. shake his hand. He would, like he refused to. I'm like, bro, he can't make you fuck him. Like nothing's gonna happen. Shake the dude's hand. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Mm. He's like, nah, son. That's that so game. weird. It's like nothing's gonna happen to you unless you want it to. Yeah. <laughs> not not a possibility. Well, maybe it's like being an alcoholic. Like, like I, I can't control that one handshake. Next thing I know, I'm I'm, I'm thirty fucking, dicks deep. <laughs> yeah, I'm sucking dicks, jerking guys. I don't know where like, they came from. <laughs> And I'm like, uh, I got one like, guy eating my ass. I got another guy <laughs> licking my boy. I'm married wow. now, Harry. <laughs> I got really went in there. <laughs> like, how did this happen? I look at myself like, how did this happen? <laughs> Shook a hand. Yeah, good, good, later. Good, good, I'm married. Good way to remind me of how I'm uptight. Yeah. <laughs> Quite an image. <laughs> Harry getting his ass eaten by a dude. Right. God, not by, not in by in a dude. God's sake, sir. Come on. Come on. No, you know. Have you no dignity? Decency, <laughs> sir. Oh, no, no. Michael, thank you for coming, hey, dog. It's my absolute pleasure, oh, man. I hope we can do love. this more. We will do well, this yeah, more. Absolutely. I want you to know you got an open invitation. Everything you want to come, oh, it's you my pleasure. Fucking come. Oh, I love I'm to. coming on yours, absolutely. too. Absolutely. You know what absolutely. I'm saying? Absolutely. We're going to get deep. Plug everything. Okay, you just, you know what? At underscore Michael Brooks on Twitter. If you want on Instagram, you can request it. It's locked. But if you request it and you look all right, I'll accept you. It's Michael Jamal Brooks on Instagram. And then it's uh, patreon.com slash TMBS. That's how you become a full patron of my show. Or Michael Brooks Show on YouTube. Michael Brooks Show on iTunes. It's a dope show. We're at over 1,000 patrons. We're on the move. It is Let's dope. do this. It's dope as hell. All right, thanks, Thank fellas. you for coming, dog. Please. I really, really appreciate I it. I appreciate you coming, dog. We're yeah. going to do this. Absolutely. This is the start of a friendship. Oh, I without, promise you that. Without a doubt. I love it. Dre, what Yo, the fuck? Just hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, Andre D. Thompson, Andre D. Thompson.com. That's it. Um, Read I, this man. Or you can call him at 1-800-I-KNOW-SCIENCE and nothing else. <laughs> Sci- well, not science. <laughs> well, well, he only, but he science. knows science about... <laughs> science. He only knows about, sci- about he, fucking and working out. He, he's That's like, it. yo, dick yo, science. But if you ask him about like yo, how you I fix still, the planet, he's, he's like, like oh. yo, I still fucks with Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize him. You feel me? It's a planet again. You know, if, if, uh, if Pluto is actually ascending in the solar system, <laughs> there's a three point difference, which means that you might want to fuck a Puerto Rican girl <laughs> who was raised in the Virgin Islands. That's according to some new research from Penn State. I, I think <laughs> o- over, over Delta Y. Look, Gary, talk uh, to me. You could always go to my website, IHateComedy.com. That's where I'm at. Uh, that's where you can find all my info. And we are trying to get to 1,000 likes on Facebook. Let's yeah, do it. Let's, then we'll do a bonus show on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, you can check me out. Everything Dante Nero, Instagram, Dante Nero Comedian. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. BABB, be a better bitch. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. I love y'all. If you like what we're doing, pay it forward, dog. Pay it forward. Tell somebody. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Um, we need to get this out. Um, and I need to stop working. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, y'all, I love y'all. Look, tell a friend. Peace. We out.